Hello, good morning. I'm gonna wait a second for people to hop on, but I am completely by myself and it feels so weird. Like where is my mom, my partner in crime? Good morning, everybody. I feel so weird without her. Um, my mom is still in Hawaii and I am just like, I have not done a live without my mom for a really long time, so it feels so weird. I started this Instagram alone over a year ago, a little over a year ago, and I was living in Denver and she was here in Utah, so I would be doing it by myself, but I have not done it by myself since I moved back home now for a while, and I'm not kidding, it just feels so weird. I just, I miss my mom. I'm like, she needs to be on here with me. So hopefully we can do this good, and hopefully you can learn something just from me today. But um, I'm wanting to give a, a twist on our tomato basil soup that I am so obsessed with. Um, there is so much snow here in Utah. If you live here in Utah, you know that we just got dumped on for the last couple of days. So when it's cold, I'm craving all things warm, right? We're craving warm soups, we're craving bread, we're trying to make the kitchen so cozy and warm and just something yummy for the soul. So I'm showing you a twist on the creamy tomato basil soup. This is in the first cookbook. So my mom, if you don't know what we're talking about with these cookbooks, she created two of these amazing books Worked so hard on them and they are just like salt and pepper. You have to have both. They are, you can't have one without the other. They're fabulous, easy, family friendly stuff, but everything you eat, you're gonna be like, that is delicious. So there is a creamy tomato basil soup on Italian night. And this is the one that I'm gonna show you. And I'm gonna t show you a couple of different twists that I want to do, but we've got to start making it. So you guys can ask any questions, but I'm like, I'm the filmer, I'm the everything today. I can't stop laughing, it's comical. So I'm gonna show you, I've gotta back this up just a little bit, on my little cooktop here, and I love this thing. A lot of people have actually asked us about it. They're like, do you only have it because you're cooking you know, on lives or things like that. But guess what? Everything cooks so fast on this thing. I absolutely love it. You can get it at Sur La Table and um, th that's the one that we love. I know you can get them most places, but this one's called Green Pan and I love it. And some of them say that you have to have the exact pan that goes with it. You don't. Every cast iron pan that we have, it actually works, so it's great. Hello from Germany, whoa, we love you Germany. My mom lived there for a while. Okay, so what we've got going on, I want to, I don't wanna make this too loud, so make sure to tell me if you can hear me. But what we're doing is we're creating a roux on this one. The other tomato basil soup is in the second cookbook and it's fabulous, but I really, really, really love this one. And I'm gonna show you just a couple of things that I love to do and it's been such a fun twist. So we've got about a stick of butter and we've got a half a cup of, no, one cup of flour, excuse me, one cup of flour. And we're just creating a roux, okay? So I've been doing this for a minute with my whisk and you're just making it brown. This is all we're doing. A roux just gives a bunch of yummy flavor into the soup. It's fabulous. So we gotta get this thing going, but I don't want it to turn too hot, too fast. I was gonna do it in this size, we always show you this black stop that we've got. Um, I'm obsessed because I, I can't show my face and this right now, but we're obsessed with this black one. The black is the original France color, French color, and so we can't stop using this one. But I was a little bit nervous because this soup makes a ton that I didn't want it to be overflowing, so I switched over to this one and so this one was already warm, so maybe this is gonna take a second to get this one warm. Of course, now I switched, and now we're maybe gonna have issues, but I got too nervous. So if I know you've heard it a lot. I know you've heard it a lot, but when you invest in a nice cast iron pot, you will have it for the rest of your life and you can use it for all of your different recipes. I, we are obsessed. It's kitchen art like we call it. It makes you so happy and it's beautiful, right? You can keep them out on your stove. I'm like, is this one not gonna get warm? 
Oh, thanks. Thanks, Beth. That's so nice. Is everybody having a good day? I think I might need to switch over to my other one. We were having a good time. And then my mom got me nervous that maybe it was going to not make enough. I mean, have enough room. Okay, so let's just hurry and show you this. I hope this is going to get hot. I've used this one on here before. So that's making me a little nervous, but I think it's just gonna take it a second. Okay, sorry you guys. That's funny. I was using it in my other pot. Um, the other day I made your French baguettes, but I accidentally let them rise too long. I wanted to cry, but I baked them anyway, and they were still good enough to, need, to eat. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's great, right? I know. It's like it makes you want to cry. I don't know what's going on. I've used this one before. We're going to go with this. Of course we're live. Of course I haven't. I wasn't even doing it in this one. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go. It's brown enough. I have been browning it in the other one. So maybe for some reason now this one won't work, but it has before. Okay, so you're gonna add four to five cups of chicken broth and take your time on it. I wouldn't add the full five cups right away, but the good thing about the chicken broth is that you can add more when you don't want the soup too thick. My mom likes it a little more, um, not as thick as me, and I kind of like it thick. So I'm using my two cup thing. So I'm adding two cups here. Okay, now it's going. I'm like, this is scaring me. This was starting to scare me. So we're adding two cups. We're gonna whisk it in, okay? So that won't stay up. So now we're gonna add another two cups. So we're gonna add four total. But let's just see how thick that it gets. And then we can add more. This is very easy. Okay, so this was like basically exactly four cups. But see how you want to take your time, can you see this, to whisk it in? Because you're wanting to give it time to thicken up. So you don't wanna just dump in all the liquid and this is what's perfect for the whisk right now. You're getting the roux in there, you're mixing, it's thickening. So we're adding four cups here. And that's why I'm not gonna add any more because we're adding other liquid. So we'll just see, but if you ever have felt like this soup is a little too thick, then you can add more chicken broth. So that's what's perfect about it. You can add that later. We are making tomato basil soup. I should put that on the bottom of the thing, but wait till you see the twist at the end because whoa, you're gonna be shocked and happy. Okay, so now we're adding three and a half cups of half and half. We love this little two cup thing that you just get at World Market. I love it. I think it's so cute and it's such a good little measuring thing. So we're adding two cups here and now we need to add three and a half. So we're gonna add one and a half cups more. This soup is delicious. And then I'm gonna show you the bruschetta in just a second, but we have to get this going because you have to let the soup simmer for at least 20 minutes when you get it to this point. Then you add everything else. And then I'm gonna talk about the marinara that I'm using today, everything. I'm sorry, what were you trying to say? What was the first ingredient? So that was just my roux, exactly. That was just some butter and flour. This is so simple. Sometimes when we show you things, I'm like, mom, this is simple, but it's fun to show it and show exactly what goes on. Okay, so now we're gonna just keep stirring for a second until it thickens and then we're gonna let it simmer. But what I was gonna talk to you about, the next thing we're going, <laughs> we're all over the place, but the next thing we're going to is I'm gonna show you bruschetta. I love to make bruschetta with this soup or really any soup for that matter. I think it's delicious. So these are our French baguettes that I made this morning. And honestly, to that follower, these over, they, I let them over rice for too long too. I was trying to get the kids out the door. It's chaos making bread that early in the morning. But I love this bread because it's from start to finish, it's only about 35 minutes. Which if you really know, and you've really tried to make French baguettes before, you can't find a recipe that fast. So many of them, you have to let them rise for so long, it takes forever. So this bread is just our go-to. It's my mom, really became famous for her breads. And I feel like that's what we are continually becoming famous for is just 
good, fast, easy breads. Our pizzas are easy, they're fast. And it's just, I love recipes that are just, you know what I mean? What well, I'm trying to think of the word for a second. I'm used to looking at my mom when I can't think of my word. When, you know, it's just easy for everybody. It's, it's made for everybody. At beginner, if you're a really experienced chef, it's like, no, you'll become a rock star in the kitchen. So I made the bread so fast this morning. Obviously, the baguettes are made, I mean, the bruschetta is better the older the bread gets, right? So that's what French, the French do is day old bread, even hours old bread, they're very on their fresh bread. They would make it out of bruschetta. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing over here, making that. So see how this is becoming thick? This is becoming thick. You're whisking it for a minute, we're getting it thick, and then we're gonna just let it simmer. It's so good. And I'm glad that I actually switched to this size. We talk about the sizes that we love of these. This is a five and a half quart, which I feel like is the perfect size for most everything. And then if you wanted an even bigger one, I would go with the nine quart. But this little one, this little black one is, we think it's a four quart. I think we've discovered that it's finally a four quart. And I use that for most everything too. But this one does make a ton of soup. So if you're in the mood to make this soup, I don't know, have some friends over. I think my friend's gonna come over after this and my sister's and I'm just gonna feed them lunch, right? I mean, this is what's fun. Keep doing these lives. I love watching them while I make them and it makes it so, makes so much more sense. Oh, that's so nice. Well, you know what's fun about Instagram now is we, we tried Instagram and then remember we died. I know some of you have heard that story. But what I love is the live videos. We connect, right? Like I feel like we're in the kitchen together and we are talking and you can answer, you can ask any questions that you want. And I do think it makes it more like you can see it in real life. I'm such a hands-on learner that that's what makes it so fun. So thank you for watching. We try to do these lives about two times a week. And um, on Friday, my mom will be back and we're going to show our Kamut bread. We haven't shown the Kamut bread in a really long time. And we had a couple of followers that wanted us to try to make it in a KitchenAid and I think a Bosch. I don't know if we're gonna do both. So come back and we're gonna show our Kamut bread on Friday back with my mom and I won't feel so alone. I, I can't believe how weird it feels without her. I just love her that much. We get sick of each other, but we love each other. We're like pretty attached. Okay, what brand is the Black Pot? It is a Staub. And if I were to go and really invest, if you've never bought one yet, I would go with the Staub because I just love the look of them way more. But we had a couple of followers and that helped us realize that there is a brand new Le Creuset color. And guess what? It's our food nanny color. It's in our apron, which my apron's at my mom's house. She was cleaning it. Okay, this is coming together perfect. So let's go over here really fast. Um, it's such a beautiful color. So I guess if you really want the food nanny color, then I would invest in that one. But the Staub, the Staub just speaks to our hearts. And this one, if you watch for it, okay, if you really watch for this, this will go on sale for $99 at Sir Latob often. Somebody got this over the holidays for $99. So it's like $99 for this, you'll have it forever. The cheap ones, you get what you pay for. Okay, so we this has already been done. So we're just, I broiled the bread Okay, so we're making our bruschetta. So what you wanna do is you're just broiling the bread on each side. So it already came out of the oven because I wanted to get it to this point. So when your bruschetta is hot, you would take your garlic, okay? And all of this is in the cookbook too. We have bruschetta on different places. There's this one on page 81. This is fresh tomato um, bruschetta with basil but it's kind of like the same thing. You know when we talk about our little Italian picnic thing? It's basically the same thing. So you would wanna do this when it's hot. Um, oh, that's so nice, thank you. I need to be shown on Friday how to fold the door dough before putting it in a mini loaf. I agree, I will show you that again. I've learned it, but 
we will show you. Can you make the kamut bread if you just have regular flour on hand? Yes, you can. But the kamut, we got to talk about that at the very end. The kamut is just, it's a million times better. It's not a hoax. It's so funny because I had a girl, so you're going to take your bread. You would do this while it was hot, okay? And you're just going to rub. See how it, it still actually did it. You're getting the garlic. You're brushing the garlic. But one girl wrote me, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, and you know who you are when you make these comments. And she said, I thought it was a joke. She's like, you repost these pictures and comments. And she said, I didn't know if I really, really believed you. And she said, wow. She's like, this Kamut, this isn't fake. This is nothing. We honestly, we tell you it a lot. We weren't even going to sell the Kamut. Um, Mr. Food Nanny is just the greatest little entrepreneur, which is so funny because he was a pilot and then he started a security business and now he's running a Kamut business. He's the boss of me and my husband. I just dropped that. But anyways, he's the best boss and he was like, no, we're going to get this Kamut out there to everybody. And that's what I love about my dad. He was like, we have to be sharing with others these quality ingredients that have changed our life that in the salt is life-changing so it will be good with regular flour but it's not going to be the best so if you haven't tried it you just should try it because whoa it's unbelievable how do you get rid of the comments i don't know i don't know how you do that i know so many of you have asked that and i and i feel bad some say swipe to the right i don't really know i don't know if you can Yes, I bought one at Bed Bath & Beyond for 99 Used a coupon, so it was hot for 89 It says four quart. $89? Holy moly. That's amazing. You got a better deal than me. Okay, so we're brushing the olive oil, okay? It's hard to do it with one hand, so let me just kind of... So we're just brushing with olive oil like this, okay? It's so good. Oh, this is so good. This is such a perfect thing for a friend lunch too. You guys want always to know like more friend lunches. I'm obsessed with doing little friend lunches because I love, I love when the kids are at school. I still have kids at home too, but I just love when the kids are at school and you can spend some quality time with friends before you have a yummy, meaningful dinner, you know, with your family. Okay, and it's better than any restaurant, half of the stuff you make. So this is our tomato mixture, and I wanted to show you this. I didn't make it to Trader Joe's yesterday because the weather was so crazy, but we love the tomatoes on the vine. I just think they're more fresh. They've got more flavor. Um, they're my favorite, and Trader Joe's has a fabulous one that my mom's obsessed with too. So we've got this. We've got tomatoes. We've got fresh basil, we've got a little bit of olive oil, and of course we've got our salt and pepper in here. And I use the finishing salt for this one. A lot of you ask what this would be for. It's just the perfect finishing. You're adding it for um, eggs, pizzas, salads, pastas at the very end. I mean, it's just a perfect finishing salt. So this is what I love. So this, we're just using and I did not know this until my mom told me. When you add salt, um, yeah, salt to the mixture, it makes it runnier. It brings out the juices more. And I did not know that. Isn't that funny? Okay, so we're going to just add the tomato like this. So we've already toasted. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. Should I do all of these? I need to go faster. I'm used to my partner in crime here with me. And maybe I'm adding too much tomato. I'm like, don't have enough for all of this. Okay, so then you would top it with Parmesan cheese. But make sure you're seasoning it well. Salt and pepper makes it way better. So then we're just gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Fresh, grate it yourself. It's so good, makes such a difference. I'm probably adding way too much cheese, more than what my mom would like, but I love it. Okay, now we're putting it back under the broiler. So look how yummy this is going to be, okay? So now we're adding it under the broiler again, and we'll just watch that for a second. 
I got mine at a thrift store for seven. Whoa, you're winning. You are absolutely winning. That is hilarious. Are you able to mail the 25 pound, pound, 25 pound bag of Camus? I can't talk. Um, no, that is not yet. We are close. I know I keep saying this, but Mr. Food Nanny gets really upset because he says we talk about things way too fast. We get excited, and so we were like, we're going to be shipping the 25-pound bag. Yeah, we weren't ready yet. But I think come February, yes, I think come February we're going to be good. So hold out for it. Um, well, you can keep buying the five-pound bag. It's crazy what you can fit in a flat rate 13 for $13 box. It's a flat rate. They charge $13. You can fit two five-pound bags of Kamut. You can fit our salt, both salts, actually. Let me show you the other salt in the bag. Hold on. You can fit both of these. You can fit both of these in a flat rate box and you can fit our spoon our food nanny spoon which is the greatest thing ever invented this is like a workout running around it's a tablespoon a teaspoon a half and a fourth and then you can fit like hot pads on top our incredible hot pads which these things are the best so you can fit all of that in a flat rate box right now. So that is a lot, but yes, the 25 pound bag is coming. And I'll show how this salt I'm using in the soup. This is the more coarse salt, but these two go hand in hand. They have a different taste and a different flavor. You guys ask that all the time. So it's different. You said it will change your life and I have been using Kamut for a month and it is safe to say it has changed my life. Ah! Oh my goodness. That is so nice. You guys, as cheesy as that is, I get emotional when comments like that come in because when you are so passionate about something and you're working so hard at something, when you guys call and, well, call, I wish we were talking on the phone. When you write in and you're telling us that it's changing your life for the better, we couldn't be more happier. So I am so happy for you. That is amazing. Um, what range do I have? I'm in a rental, so let's, yes, it's a Thermador, but it's good, it's good. Um, when I moved in here this summer, it's, it's kind of off, I've told you that. My oven doesn't cook totally even, so that bugs me. But it's good, it's a good oven. It's a good oven, especially for a rental. Oh my, oh my, looky at this. Who doesn't want to come over for this? Okay, let me, this is so hot. And then we've got to finish up our soup and I'll tell you my, um, my little trick that I love to do with the soup. You're, it's gonna be, I don't know if you'll, it's gonna be mind blowing to all of you, but I think it's gonna change some of your lives. We like to say that all this changed your lives. Do you think we love food? There is nothing greater than being gathered around eating delicious food, being with loved ones, being with friends. That's the one thing I really, really, really miss in Denver. I had so many girlfriends there and we were getting together all the time having the most amazing lunches and I miss that. I really miss that about Denver because I made so many amazing friends. Look, and did you see how simple this is? But you gotta do it on the homemade bread. You gotta do it on all of it. Okay. I am cooking along with you, but I'm making your Baja fajitas. My family loves them so much that yesterday they asked if we could do a Mexican night today. I love that about your meal plan. Exactly, you pick the nights. You pick the nights, that's perfect. I love the Baja fajitas too. Okay, I haven't been able to find a good grinder for your gray salt, it gets stuck. Any suggestions? Um, you need to let it dry out. So where is the bag again? So if you cannot find a specific salt grinder for this salt, just let it dry out. Put it out on a cookie sheet, you know, like spread it out on a cookie sheet, dry it out, and then you should be able to use any grinder for the salt. Um, so, but I know that World Market has really good ones for very inexpensive. It just depends on how much you wanna spend. They're everywhere, but let your, let your salt dry out. That's the problem is because um, a lot of them, 
you know, it's just not meant for wet salt like this. So dry it out, okay? Whoa, what else can I fit in the flat rate box with the two cookbooks? With the two cookbooks, you can fit a bag of flour, one, one five pound bag of flour, and bowl salts, you can fit bowl salts, and you could fit a hot pad, you could fit a hot pad or two hot pads. And let me tell you one more time, I'm using these all around. These hot pads, okay, I'm not trying to like be ridiculous or whatever. You know what I mean? We're not fake on here, I promise. But my husband's grandma is almost 90 years old and really does not have a lot. I'm not trying to tell you to buy it just because of her, but she doesn't have a lot. And we love her stuff so much that Mr. Food Nanny again went down to her and said, her name's Henrietta, so we love you, Henrietta. I don't know if she watches. I don't know if she knows how to get on the phone. But we said, we love your hot pads, and I'm not exaggerating. I have had every fancy hot pad, so has my mom, and they they stink. They're not good. They, they, they don't stink, but I didn't wanna say suck, but they're not good. And they don't fold easy. This, this is just easy, your hands never burn, you can bleach these clean, and then we're also gonna do it in our food nanny color too. But she gets all of the money. So I'm not just saying that because, but I'm just telling you, they're worth every penny and they've got this really cute design and they're the best homemade. I've had somebody else make these homemade, they're not as good. So everything goes to Henrietta, they're great, they're amazing. Okay. <laughs> Um, thank you because I love this all, both of them. They go hand in hand, they're fabulous. Both of them are fabulous. I'm so glad you love the hot pads. Oh, I'm so glad you love the hot pads. Okay, so we're gonna finish this soup, okay? And we've got some fun things in store for you guys. I, I can't keep any secret in. So maybe at the end I'm gonna tell you a secret that I have because I just, I'm so excited about it. I can't even hardly stand it. Okay, so now we're gonna stir in our marinara sauce. My sister Katie, let's pray that my sister Katie is not watching this video because she might kill me. But she found, it's called Michael's of Brooklyn, this marinara sauce. And as crazy it is, she says it's better than homemade. My mom does not like that. She did not like that comment. But you can either make homemade for this or you can do something as this. The cheap, if you wanna use a cheap, my mom loves the Newman's Own. That's the one that she's always told me to buy. But if you can find this Michaels of Brooklyn, my sister claims it has upped her lasagna, you know, like our easy lasagna that you use for a jar, or anything. She says it's the greatest. This is not cheap, but she said it's, Fabulous. So I found this at Ridley's. I live up here in Provo. I mean, psh, Midway, one in the world. I don't live in Provo. I live up in Midway. And anyways, this is at Ridley's. So look for this, Michael's of Brooklyn. It's expensive, but you should give it a try. You should give this a try, okay? She says it's so beyond fabulous. So this is the marinara. Watch, I'm gonna get this all over me. I should be wearing an apron. Okay, now we're gonna add one and a half cups of marinara. So look how you just, oh gosh. Did I just get that all over me? I pray I didn't. Ah, I pray I didn't. I should be wearing an apron. Okay, we're adding one and a half cups of marinara. Okay. And now, I think you could use a wooden spoon. I feel like this is all over me, <laughs> but maybe it's not. Look how thick. See the reason why you have to let it simmer? It's thick. Oh, oh my heavens. It's so good. I told you we get excited over food. Okay, so we're adding the marinara. Then we're adding tomato. I don't like chunky soup. I don't like chunky tomato soup. So I love the San Marzano. I bought it already pureed so that I didn't have to put it in a blender, okay? So it only calls for one cup. I mean, one can. So we're just gonna half this. We're just gonna eyeball this because this would be like two cans. So I don't know. We're just gonna kind of go with it. 
it, it looks about half. We're just gonna go with it. I know that that's wasteful, so don't let that waste. Put it in a Ziploc baggie and save it for something else. But we love the Trader Joe's one. World Market actually has a fabulous diced tomato. Um, but I didn't make it to either one of them because of the crazy snowstorm. So I just love the San Marzano. You can have it chunky. You can just have the diced tomatoes, but I don't like the chunks. I like it to be, you know, creamy and smooth and delicious, okay? So we've had that. Now we're going to add our fresh basil. It's about two, can you not see this? It's about two tablespoons. My counter is not super big and it's hard to be filming myself. So we're adding some fresh basil, okay? And then at this point, if you wanted to make it a little thinner, which I guess we could see how it's thick, we're gonna add a little more chicken broth. And I think a little bit was left in this. So that's the way you can make it not as creamy. So we're just gonna add a little bit. I would just slowly add it. That wasn't even a full cup. So just let it simmer and just see what you like to your liking. So I'm actually gonna put the chunkier salt, which these are coming, these are coming, these are coming from France. I don't know if I should tell you when, but I'm just going to. Don't kill me, Mr. Food Nanny. They're coming in a week. We're picking up our shipment. We're low on salt and we need it. We are, we're literally almost out of salt. So if you have ever wanted to do the salt and you want it in the next week, I would start ordering. We're running out of these bags. We sell out of these like crazy. The finishing salt we have a ton of, but not this one. So we'll get more, but we ship our salt from France. So anyways, these are the perfect little container. You're gonna be buying them. And I feel like it's gonna be a bidding war of like who gets it the fastest. My Mr. Food Nanny, I keep saying my dad, Mr. Food Nanny just wants to make sure that they come in one piece before he orders a bunch of them. So we just added some salt and pepper to taste and I'm just making sure that I added everything. Yep, so this is it, okay? You could add more chicken broth if you want. It's just up to your liking. I think it looks amazing. So now I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take my bowl. I guess let's come over here. Um, I'll, go, I'll try to go back to your questions, okay? I want everybody's questions to be answered. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of my soup. These are from World Market. I think they're so cute. So I'm gonna add some soup. Hold on really fast. I went out of the camera, sorry. Okay, so this is my mom and I's new tip, which I don't even know if this is warm enough right now, but we're going with it. We're live. We're not gonna keep going. We're not gonna <laughs> wait till it heats up, okay? Orzo pasta. Has anybody ever heard of this before? <laughs> In your soup, okay? Now this kind of stuck together. So just get some olive oil. I put olive oil, but I guess I didn't put enough. But this kind of stuck together. Either keep some of your pasta water or your olive oil to make it from sticking. And I think I put way too much in one bowl. But if you ever heard of orzo pasta in your tomato soup, oh my, if you haven't had it, your mind's been blown today. Yes, Zupa's does it. And there's another really fancy restaurant that we go to, well, like we go to a bunch of fancy restaurants, but that we've been to, and they do it too. So you would add about like two tablespoons, whatever, again, to your liking, but you add this on top of your soup. And the texture, you guys, it's so delicious. Then you could even top it off with some Parmesan cheese. You know what, you know what we love in our tomato basil soup? Parmesan cheese, goat cheese, feta cheese, the, oh, and sour cream. The French do sour cream too. And that, that's yummy. Oh, all of those are so yummy. 
But you guys, the texture in all of it, oh, mmm. The soup wasn't totally warm enough, but the orzo with it, if you are serving it to somebody, just put on the top. Don't mix it around for them, just put it on the top. It's amazing. I am obsessed with orzo. We have an orzo salad. Oh yeah, or homemade croutons, you're right, mom. Or homemade croutons out of our bread, out of our kamut bread. That's amazing too. So anyways, we have, um, what am I gonna say, an orso pot, a salad, and it's incredible. I love, 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 love that. So anyways, we just thought this would be a fun little twist to show you. And let me go back to some questions because I think somebody asked something about shipping. Um, where is the liquid measuring cup from? It is from World Market, and I love it. We love it. It's not expensive either. I love it. I feel like I'm eating everything now. This is in the first cookbook on page 82. It's on 82. Love, yes, World Market, World Market. Is this homemade tomato soup? Yes, of course it is. Of course it's homemade. Um, will it be posted on the site in a week? So, uh, <laughs> Mr. Brunei is going to be so mad at me. Um, what's the date today? Yeah, a, roughly a week. It'll be posted around a week. That's funny. He'll probably be so mad at me. Okay, just kidding. When I say really mad, I'm kidding. Okay, I need you, you do need it. You guys, it's like $5. It's so cute. I love it. I'll try to find it on the World Market um, website and do you guys a swipe up. But how do you get a yummier lunch? How do you get yummier? My soup needs to be heated up more, but how do you get yummier? You guys, that is so nice. I will tell you, you know when you buy one thing in, this, in, um, in the season and you're like, that's my favorite thing. You know when you make a lot of dumb purchases but you make one good one? That's this sweater. I love this sweater. <laughs> and I'm like, that was one of the best purchases. It's from Madewell. We love, love, love Madewell. I know, I'm gonna get fired now. That's okay. They can fire me. I'm just kidding. You guys, do that. Does anybody else have questions? I know that one lady really wanted me to show baguettes but we don't have time. We don't have time. So, oh, thanks, Aunt Sue. You guys, my Aunt Sue is the nicest. She's such a good cook, too. We were um, actually down in California for the weekend, and she showed us the best time. She took us to the most incredible restaurant, and everybody was like, your mom sounds just like, you know, your, whatever, your aunt sounds just like your mom. Anyways, that's so nice. I know, I need to wear an apron next time because it's my favorite. I don't know what I was doing. This is actually from m and S. I'm, I'm like getting all distracted. m and S. Um, anyways, it's a St. George. It's a St. George. My, my sister Emily and all my other sisters have a million turquoise. This is like the one thing that I've really bought. And it was $30. So that's a really good price, especially for turquoise. And I love it. I'm like, one day I'll buy more. Okay, um, that is very nice. You guys are being so nice. Um, sometimes I search YouTube for help and you guys, and I see old videos with you alone. Can you tell us the food nanny and the history in less than a minute? Okay, that's so funny. So what it is is my, my mom is the original food nanny. So we're calling her the senior food nanny and I'm now the junior food nanny because I have to have some name or what am I? Just like a sidekick. <laughs> So my mom created both of these cookbooks. It's been about 15 years that this cookbook has been out. And then the other one came out a couple of years after. And anyways, Food Nanny was going. My mom had a BYU show. So if you wanna go back on BYU TV, you can find all of her old TV shows. And anyway, so then we never had a social media ever. We never ever had a social media. And then there was a time where all of the sisters tried to do it. So I have three other sisters. 
which all of them are just as good of cooks as me, okay? Nobody's better than the other. I might be the better baker. Amy will competition with that. I think I'm better at sweets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, she's not here to defend herself. We like to, you know, jokingly fight about that. But anyways, we tried to do a social media and then it just died. Nothing was going on, nothing was growing, nothing and nothing, nothing. And then my mom came out to visit me. I was living in Denver and uh, we were out there for my dad's company, my, my husband's job. We were out there for about like three and a half years. And then my mom came out and it's, it's an emotional thing for me. Like, I don't know, something's going on. I, I guess I miss her so much or something. Something's happening to me today. But we had a really, um, we had a really incredible night. I'll never forget it. You know, like when you just have one of those amazing nights. And I said, mom, I'm like, I just, I'm so proud of her. Like really, I'm so, so proud of my mom and all that she's about. Why am I crying? All that she's about and all that she's created for families. It's just, it's something that I took for granted. You know, like I just thought, oh, everybody gets homemade food. Oh, everybody sits at the dinner table. Oh, everybody has a mom that cares so much about them and, and dinner time. And it wasn't until after you leave the house, like most of you, you'll discover, I don't know why I'm crying, I'm sorry, that you, you know, that's not most families. That's not, that's not normal, right? And so anyways, we were having this incredible moment and I just said, mom, you've been doing this for 40 plus years. And I said, your message never dies. It never dies because there's always new people that have never heard of it. They've never heard of meal planning. I know that meal planning is now a big deal, but my mom created meal planning. Honestly, I really believe it. I just feel like she never had the right way to get it out there. And, um, and so I just said, it never dies. It just never dies. And it's such an important thing that everybody needs to know that I just had something inside of me that fired me up and I said, I want to do this one more time, but I want to be us. I want it to be a partnership and I want it to be, um, you know, you and I, oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm crying. Sorry. And so we did it and I don't know. So that's why I was by myself. I didn't even live here by family. I was totally by myself and we were doing our own videos. I was doing it, she was doing it, then we were doing it together. And I personally love it together because she's still teaching me, you know? She's just so good at what she does. Um, she's just such an inspiration to me. Oh my heavens, but we're very close. And so the reason we're doing our social media account, and I've said it before, and this is not less than a minute, so I'm very, very sorry, is because we want to help others, really, truly. Like we want to encourage and help others. And our, our products are to boot. I don't know why I cried that much. That was not a less than a minute, but hopefully that made sense. But I just feel like for the first time on social media, we're getting out there and I'm just so proud of her. And my mom's, you know, had a show and she sold a lot of cookbooks. It's not like she's been a complete loser. <laughs> But on social media, we have not done, we just, we couldn't grow. We couldn't get out there and we, anyway, so I just think us together, it's a great team. So we like to call her the senior food nanny and I'm the junior food nanny and I'm just so grateful to do it with her. So really what we hope is our time and our efforts and everything are, you know, just put in to really, 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 really help you and really encourage you to cook and get dinner on the table and our recipes are just fabulous. These cookbooks are the best you will ever buy. They never get old. I never get sick of them. They're worth every dollar. You can buy both of them for $39 and you'll have them for the rest of your life. It's like, what more do you want? So yes, my mom was totally self-taught, a self-taught cook. So I just feel like I've learned everything from her as well, right? Um, I wanted to go to culinary school, but then I got married at 19 and then I started having babies at 21 and I'm going to be 31 and I've got four kids. And so, yeah, life just happens, but she is self-taught. She's brilliant. And I, I just hope that I can be as good enough one day. I get nervous that it won't be good without her. Does that make sense? Cause she's like, I'm not doing this forever. And I'm like, 
We're not going to grow. Nobody's going to like it. Anyways, okay. I thought I missed something else. Did you buy anything at BB Marco? Okay, that is such a good question. Yes, I did. I got a little something. I cannot believe I cried like that. I guess I'm missing my mom and whatever. When we're, re when we're really talking about it, we get emotional because it's 100% real. Like it's not fake at all, at all. And my love for her and appreciation for her and everything is, <laughs> I'll stop. It's real, it's very real. Okay. Did you buy anything of Phoebe Marco? Yes. What is wrong with me? Okay. I look crazy. I like all my makeup stuff. I got this cool. It's a, it's a cheese mold. It's a vintage cheese mold from France, and I love it. And she sells these little brushes, but guess what? Vivi Margot ha has been a big inspiration to me, and I've been obsessed with her for years. And guess what? We're going to do a live with her. She is flying to Utah. We're doing a live together, so get ready for that. She is this lady from France. She's more France than France. She gets the most incredible baskets. Um, I actually I actually went to a, a, a market. My sister takes uh, us to these flea markets, <laughs> and I get the coolest stuff. So Vivi Margot, we, get the, we got these from France, but Vivi Margot sells this kind of stuff. Um, she brings it all back from France, and that's amazing because you can't find these really um, in America. And we love her. So her store was amazing. Look at these. This one is for my mom because my mom wasn't there and I thought about her and I bought this for her and I got this one for me. These, one, these ones are from France. These are authentic little linens, but I did get some fun things at the market. So maybe we should do, oh my gosh, that scared me. There was a guy out the window <laughs> doing a snow thing. That was hilarious. That scared me half to death. I was like, oh no, but um. You guys, that scared me half to death. Anyways, maybe I'll have to show you what I got at the market because it's really cool. Like, you get cool, authentic stuff for a really good price. Anyway, so Vivi Margot, she's fabulous. We are doing, um, we are doing a live with her. Okay, this is so nice. I don't even know what everybody is saying. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice. I'm not even gonna read all of this because I'll just cry. But um, we want to see the counter behind you closer this the counter behind me there's not much to see right now I took away some stuff I have a vintage teapot which the guy we're gonna sell him out let me tell you we're gonna sell him out and it's gonna go right here and it's kind of this color and it's so fabulous we all have this from anthropology there's not much to see there's only so much you can do in a rental, right? There's only so much that you can do, but I like to create it and make it as much as my own as I can. But I do love having, um, I do love having everything accessible by the oven. That is just something that we all like to do. You put your olive oil, make it accessible, you know? You have your salts here, my finishing salt goes here. Anyways, whatever. Okay. That's so nice. That's so nice. I got no makeup on. I look like a nut. But it's when somebody asks about our story, and I, and I feel really bad because we do have the same people that watch our videos. So just skip over if you don't want to ever hear it. But we'll never stop talking about our products and just our message, right? Like that's our message. And I had another message, but we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. There's so many messages, but anyways, thank you for being so nice. How many gallons is the flower jar? How many bags of Kamut? I think it's 10 pounds, right? I don't even know if my mom's on here. Is it 10 pounds, mom? But you need to buy these. You keep it out on your counter. Um, I think it fits 10 pounds of flour. I don't know. I don't know if she's watching. She's in Hawaii, probably on the beach. And I'm sitting here crying about her while she's probably on the beach having the best time ever. But I like to put my sugar, my flour. I've, at different times, I've had that. But the little brush thing is going here. So it's fun. Is it a two gallon? Is it 10? I don't know. 
I, I can't remember. I think it's 10 pounds of flour though. It's more than five. It's more than five pounds because I, um, it's more than five. Because five pounds is our little bag. It's, I think it's 10 pounds. Yes, thank you. I think it's 10 pounds. Because our little five pound bag, no, if it's more than that. I'm pretty sure it's 10. I'm like, oh, there she is. She's actually responding. Oh my heavens, it is 10. Okay, that's what I thought. It is 10. Well, enjoy your vacation, mom. All right, well, I hope you make the soup. Try the orzo on it. It's so yummy. I'm gonna be eating this for lunch. I'm gonna invite my friend, my sisters. Yes, that's my mom. That's my mom that's talking. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so funny. It's a big jar and it's fabulous. So yeah, you could fit two, two five pound bags. So don't forget to try our products if you haven't tried them because we've got gluten people that are handling it. I mean, I'm just gonna show you this view really fast and then I'll get off. There is, let me just show you this. I'm trying, oh, the sun comes in so bright. Let me just show you how much, hold on. Oh no, look how much snow. Are you seeing this? There is so much snow, it's beautiful. The sun finally came out today. It's beautiful. Anyways, I'm a hot, hot mess. Um, I just got my Camus in salt today. I can't wait to try it. You're going to love it. Make the bread, make all the things, make the cookies with the salt. The chocolate chip cookies are the greatest. Anyways, you guys have the greatest day. I made Dave's pretzels yesterday. They are the bomb. Oh, they are the best. Yes, we got hammered. We got a ton of snow. Um, yeah, the, his pretzels are the bomb. David needs to get back on here. So we don't have to keep the Kamut in the freezer all the time. No, no, you don't have to keep the Kamut in the freezer at all. That's only if you're just not using it fast enough. So if you are, then no, you just keep it out. It's totally great. Um, when will the Food Nanny Color Hot Pads be ready? I don't know. I would have to ask Henrietta. I would have to ask her. I'll have to ask her. Uh, I don't know, but look at me. I'm a hot mess now. Okay, I don't know. I think she's going. I think she's going. It's a beautiful color. It's literally um, like Leisure and Lane Co. hit the nail on the head. Like, you know how we love this color? I mean, our apron is kind of like this and that. Anyways, it's beautiful. She did one, she did one hot pad for us to show us and it was beautiful. It was amazing. So you'll want it. All right. Oh my heavens. Look at my mom. She's just rubbing it in our faces. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she loves this little village. She said, well, maybe she should do more stories. Maybe she should show us some stuff. I'm back here in the freezing cold. Anyways. All right. Love you guys. Have the best day. We'll be back on Friday showing Kamut. Um, Kamut bread. Uh, this color, I don't know. This one came, but it's, it's this color that we're obsessed with. It's kind of like this blue gray. I know Desiree, I know Desiree has a color that's very similar to that. She knows. Um, is there special cleaning instructions on the apron? No, there's not. No, just don't wash it hot. Don't wash it hot. Just Everything comes out, it's perfect. It's the greatest apron and you'll never wanna take it off and it's fabulous. It's fabulous, but no, I don't have a specific color for this, but if you really wanted to paint something this color, we could ask Desiree, like next time she's on, she's got, she knows all the colors, but you should see the fun things we got at that market. Oh, it was so much fun. Anyways, all right, love you guys. What mom, you're going to love Calais, or however you say it. Great. I wish I was there right now. Oh, you said I had news for you. Yes, I did. What was my news? Oh, it was that we were doing a live with, uh, with um, we're, we're, we're planning a live video with Vivi Margot. That was the news. So I kind of already spilled it. 
So hopefully it works out because that's gonna be fun. And she has all of these fun, fun, fun things. I copied my mom, put a basket out, s'more bars from last night. Um, this is so funny, mom. I don't know how you say it. It's a darling town on the other side of the island. I'm so happy for you. Have the best time. I'm sorry it got really real there for a minute, but it is what it is, right? Have the best day. Make the soup. Put the pasta in it. Have the best day. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Love you. Bye.